that first lockdown period was actually such an important time for me. I really stripped things back down to basics and I made sure that I was putting in the right work and putting the effort in the right places to achieve what I wanted to achieve. First lockdown was such a weird period of time. You had people baking banana bread, people doing 5k runs for five pound donations. And then there was that weird little period where people were downing drinks at home just to nominate their friends to see who could do it quickest. Yes, this was me doing my nomination, trying to look really cool doing a backward shot. But the thing that really let me down and it would never make me cool was the fact that I really cannot down a drink. Yep, I'm still going, still going, still going, and I'm done. That's the face of a man who just struggled with a small bottle of Stella. I'm going to talk about some of the things that I did that helped me lose the weight during that period of time. First and foremost, the most important thing, which is why I'm going to put it right at the start. I don't want anyone thinking that there's just going to be a little exercise out there that's going to be enough to make you drop a load of weight. You have to achieve a calorie deficit. There are plenty of free tools online to work out how many calories you need in a day. And a calorie deficit basically means that you are burning more calories than you are consuming. If you eat the right amount of calories, it's called maintenance and you'll stay at the same weight. It doesn't have to be that difficult and you do need to be disciplined with it, but don't go hardcore and get go all strict on it like I've done many times before and end up pretty much starving yourself. There are tools like MyFitnessPal that can help you calculate your calories and track them very easily. And I think it's just a case of keeping on top of that and making sure that you're just a few hundred calories down each day, just a couple hundred, honestly, that will be enough over a long period of time to help you lose weight. There are so many things out there that make you think that it's not about what you eat and it's just about your exercise. Obviously, that's a key part that will contribute to that weight loss, but you really need to get to eating right first. I was that guy when I was younger who believed all the ads though. I ended up getting one of those little things that you actually put on your stomach that gives you like electric shocks in the in the idea and in the mindset that this will be the thing that finally gives me a six pack I would wear that thing for out probably longer than advised actually looking back on it and uh, yeah just constant shock 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 and guess who didn't get abs me now one of the things that I did in the earlier stages was go on a lot of runs running's not for everyone and I'll be honest with you it used to be something what I found very very difficult I'm still not the best at it now but I'm definitely far from the worst and that's all just come from hard work and slogging it out. It doesn't need to be a long three four mile run either. To begin with if you can just run half a k, 1k, a mile, whatever that might be, introduce walking with that as well. You know when you get tired keep yourself going just try and set out for a period of time whether that be 10-15 minutes and if you need to walk in that time then you need to walk in that time but I promise you if you keep up with it you'd be surprised how in such a short period of time you can improve on your running drastically. This is the reason why I have that 5k target in 20 minutes. I seem to be able to get the distance in now but to reduce the time is something that I've struggled with for a long period. Something that I started to find really beneficial and if we're being honest it's a lot easier than running was going on walks. Now, I never thought before if you told me that walking every day would be enough to help me lose the weight that I did, but I promise you it really was. I would set out on three to five mile walks, and because it's easier than running and less sort of taxing on your body, this is something that you can actually keep up and pretty much do every single day. Walking for an hour to an hour and a half each day was almost getting to the stage of burning the same sort of calories that I'd do in a 20, 30 minute run. Now obviously it took me a hell of a lot longer, so if you don't have that much time or you want to res uh, get those results quicker, then definitely I would suggest going for a run. After a while, I wanted to start to make my walks more difficult, so I made my own weighted vest. I took some plates off of a barbell that I had, so it was almost about 30 kilograms weight that I had in a backpack. It was pretty uncomfortable, so I would advise probably buying a weighted vest, and I think I will in the future. I seem to like recording myself doing this and zooming in on my back to prove the backpack was there, like a year seven with a bag full of books. But in all seriousness, this was really hard work and it got me breathing heavy and it got my heart racing. It was very tiring to do over about the three, four miles that I did. So I really recommend it. But if you can mix walking into your daily plans, your daily activity, I promise you over a long period of time, if you're keeping that up with your calorie deficit, you will end up losing weight. Something that I tried to improve during this period of time as well was my push-ups. I can't lie, before I genuinely did struggle getting to about 10. And if I got to 10 once, I'd be flat out to try and do it again. The gym I was going to before lockdown was heavily focused on making sure that you could do sort of fitness based activities like push ups in between sets. And I was having to drop to my knees and do the sort of easier style of press up for a long period of time, which again, it isn't a problem, but for me personally, I needed to improve on that. I don't know why I found it so difficult, but it was genuinely such a stumbling point to get past that sort of magic 10 number on push ups. And to be honest with you, a lot of the time, I was probably getting around to about seven or eight and just dropping out. I did push ups every day for a long period of time during lockdown, and I'd make sure that I text a mate who's doing it as well and we'd compare what numbers we'd done for the day. In the end I'd go from 10 to 12 to 15. I remember when I was trying so hard to get to 20 and I just kept falling short. I'd fall around 17, 18, I couldn't quite make it. Now I'm able to do 25 and I'm pushing it to 30 as best I can. 
by the end of the year, I really want to get 50 push-ups out in one go. I think I look where I was with the push-ups to start to where I potentially could be at the end of the year. If I can make it to that 50, I'll be super proud of myself. On certain other days when I didn't go out for runs or walks, I'd try and do something near to home that got me outside still. Skipping might not be easy for everyone, and it's something that I've always been okay at, but over this period of time, I really did improve. And it weren't just about trying to get interesting footwork into it and to try and just do more than the sort of average bounce. It was more about trying to improve the time that I was doing it in without stopping and slipping up because generally when you get tired your hands get soppy with it your footwork gets worse and you end up tripping up over the rope so the longer periods of time that you're sustaining it the more your heart's beating the more calories you're burning anyone out there who wants to skip or who isn't very good at it a real top tip for you if you start jumping and swinging the rope to the side of you every time you hear that rope hit the floor that's the rhythm what you want to get in with your jumping Keep practicing that timing because again, that is key. It really comes with the sound of it hitting the floor and over time you'll be able to do that without even needing to wait for it. Your body will be in the rhythm, you'll work with your hands and you'll be able to skip properly. Something that I really wanted to do but actually proved difficult just due to supplies over lockdown was starting to ride my bike more. Bike rides are really good if you get any joint pains as well. If you get any pains in your ankles, knees, it's really low impact and also the good thing with biking is you can go through periods of trying to cycle really hard and really fast and when you're knackered with it, you can just enjoy the ride a little bit, slow yourself down, get your heart rate back down again, ready to spike it back up. Again, another really good trick for burning calories. This has been a really brief overview over some of the things that I had done over that period of time to lose the weight that I did. This was not an overnight thing, but as I already explained, none of this is an overnight thing. I could have probably lost weight quicker if I was to eat less and you know run 100 miles a day for a period of time. It would come off me a lot quicker than it probably did over this period. But that's not sustainable and you wouldn't want to keep that up every day. That weight will come back on and believe me from past experience, not only will it come on but you'll put more on as well. It's one of those, it really gets you down, it really gets your mood down. You think I tried so hard to lose that weight, I did and now all of a sudden I'll put it all back on and some and it really brings you down. But it's just the diet itself, it's the training, it's not sustainable, it's not enjoyable, you're never going to keep it up. So you never going to keep the results okay i've waffled on long enough and it's time to show you the before and afters i am pleased because obviously you know as you can see by the pictures there is a big change um, but it still makes me feel really really cringed out to see the size i am on the left and all i can really see is the things that i want to work on on the right hand picture anyway um, there's still a long long way to go but the main point of this video really was just to prove just how simple lifestyle changes can be uh, to make the difference that you know you can see in these pictures it was really really easy um, it just took time it's something that I'm trying to improve on actually it, all I can see is the bad things and the things that for me stand out where I need to improve and I know that I have come a long way with it and I am really really happy with that but I'm always hungry just to keep improving so you know hopefully over time that will be a case that you'll see it. I still want to keep pushing, I still want to keep working hard. I'm trying to base it more around fitness goals and just appearance now because I think that's a healthier way to do it. I think it's better to give yourself a target to, for something to achieve physically rather than looking in a mirror and saying, this isn't what I want it to look like or standing on some scales and saying, oh really, this should be lower. My hope is the fitter I get with it, then generally I should look better anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope that you take something from this. It really it was just to try and put across how easy this can be. If you apply a calorie deficit, do any form of light exercise to help you achieve this and just maintain it for a long period of time it really is that simple i reduce my calories throughout the day i have three healthy meals if i did snack i tried to make sure it wasn't on anything like chocolate or crisp but you know obviously i'm human over a period of a week if you can try and end that week in a calorie deficit then that's great if you have one day where you slip up that's you know it's completely fine just make sure that the next day is a good day and then keep going from there you don't have to run every day. You don't have to do all the sort of more difficult things. If you can just get out and walk, that does burn calories, which all aids with this process. But remember, it is all about calorie deficit, hard work, and time. Also, take a look at this outtake from the drink nomination that I did before. I was out there for ages doing shot after shot. It started raining on me and everything. I finally get it in and look what happens. Crap bottle opener. <sighs>